AI could take a low resolution image and upscale it up to a high resolution in real time with little loss in quality. We could take video games, run them at lower resolutions like HD, and output them to 4K, looking much better but getting higher FPS. And video calls this DLSS. What if you take a 356p game and upscale it up to HD? That's the question we're trying to answer today. It's a packed video. So enjoy. For the purposes of this experiment, we're going to run Cyberpunk 2077 on an OLED 480Hz display by ASUS. The entire PC has been built exclusively on ASUS parts, and we're using an ASUS RTX 5080 GPU. The game is currently running at 1440p, and this is what it looks like. No ray tracing, no DLSS frame generation, no DLSS upscaling. It looks pretty nice. However, it's only running at about 115 FPS. All of the settings are on high, except for ray tracing. Now I'm going to enable resolution scaling, and I'm going to set it to ultra performance. The ultra performance preset reduces your render resolution to 33%. This way, if I bring down my render resolution from 1440p to 1080p, I'm effectively rendering at 634 by 356. Now the moment of truth. This is what the game looks like. At 356p, we are currently running at about 226 FPS. The game does look a little blurry, there's lots of artifacts, but it's not bad whatsoever. 356p is amazing, but what if I turn on ray tracing and path tracing? Ray tracing reconstruction and path tracing on? The game looks relatively better, and we're currently running at about 179, 180 FPS. The game has some artifacts, but these are because of the per object motion blur. The motion blur has been turned off right now, but we have this. But look what happens when I increase the resolution to 1440p. This is 356p, and this is 1440p. As I've noticed, increasing the internal render resolution can have a dramatic effect even if it goes by a little bit. The reason for this video is to see what really happens at the most extreme example of frame upscaling, because people who cannot afford the best and the biggest GPUs out there can still have a path with their GPUs that support frame generation and frame upscaling to still play their games with a decent picture quality, but also enjoy ray tracing. You know why? Because if I'm getting this at 475p with ray tracing and path tracing and getting 160 FPS, I could enable DLSS frame generation and set it to 4x or 3x and get this. This is what the game looks like at that resolution and we're currently getting about 400 FPS and rendering at native 101. But this is nothing compared to turning on DLSS frame generation and trying other games. If you want to see more, comment your favorite game or DLSS 4, and if we get enough, I'll cover that in the next video.